The day signifies an actual day in Call of Dragons history. Even if from the bad or the good in the past, today is something the community can all look and say, How do you do that? How do you do that? What the hell is going on? Someone has achieved it. And what we're talking about is no other than Mephisto being the first ever player to reach over 1 billion power. So let's go over his quick account overview and let's check out the big man and biggest player in Call of Dragons. Hello guys, yes, smash the like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaker. And today we have been notified that the big man himself has finished pushing all the way and he is 1 billion power nice. with over 54.8 million merits which is obscene absolute obscene to think about but this is the first ever player to do it and the cool thing is some of you might know Nefisto from his Rise of Kingdoms account and obviously all the stuff that came from there but this is a different game new Nefisto, new me right and the cool thing is we know he started out in server 33 with the BXS guys I think obviously stuff didn't work out from there and then obviously on his journey he's ended up in Noir and this alliance is obviously doing wonders right now I believe they are smashing it out in their whole um server they've got the dragon confirmed they've already got it all cleared and they're even now as you can see pushing into agoru now so they're actually doing more of an offensive push to, against their enemies it's kind of cool that we get to see all of that and we can see like i said the main man is always on the front lines so when we go into his account you can actually go onto more info and we can look at some of his stats right so you can see he has technically i'm not gonna lie a lot more defeats than victories. Uh, I don't know if that's just because everyone targets him. I don't know if that's just because of his play style. Because again, we know from watching him in the past, he does just like to run his troops in because he has basically infinite amount of troops without his hospital. So he can just do this type of play. And then once he won goes for it, he can heal up and carry on, right? So no fault of his own. And I actually do enjoy the fact that he does this play style. And you can see, boys, he's only lost 5 million units, but he's killed over 1.5 almost. Oh, well, 1.4 billion, which is insane. Absolute insane stats. And you can think, see, even when it comes to the healing, he's healed half the amount, which is very impressive in my eyes. Because if you've healed half the amount of that you've killed and then your deads are so low, Boy, if you could imagine like a KDA calculator, this must be off the charts, right? So even though he's got all these technically bad defeats, that's just because he gets swarmed so much, right? Because of all the troops. But you can see when it comes to the actual troop meter, he is cooking and you can see why. And all time, 1.0126678. I can't believe it. And the one question I bet you all are wondering... And even I'm wondering is how much has he spent, right? Because the thing is, you can see he's only ever gathered 28 gems, which I find hilarious, right? But he's been given over nearly 1.4 billion worth of resources. And then you can see as well, he's a helping guy, you know. He gives a little bit of help and a lot of people obviously help him. So it's really cool that we get to see, you know, this player. It's one of those things that I don't think anyone imagined would have happened on Call of Dragons. And the reason why a lot of people didn't think this was going to happen is because of the healing system, right? In reality, you only need a good about 5 mil troops, if you wanted to say, if you're a D5 player. So once you hit like, like a 70 to like, well, say 70, say 100 mil to like 200 mil, you're in the same power as everyone else, generally. It's just down to your artifacts. So you can keep fighting for such a long time. So it's just insane to see someone with the money, with the ability, with the ambition to be the first player. And like I say, I've got all but praise. I'm going to say congratulations. I don't care what's happened in the past. Some people might like him, some people might not like him. I personally haven't really dealt with him apart from we've spoken a very small amount of times in our chat and that was only when we fought against them in the roots of war and it was a really fun roots of war when we fought against them 
So it was really nice reminiscence of that. So I'm just going to go over some of his wall just to check up what he's showcasing on his wall. And you can kind of get a little glimpse into this lifestyle, which I find really cool because you can see he's rocking his own Ferrari here. An SF90, and on the side while he pulls over, he's got his Nefisto account there, which I think is jokes, right? I I wish one day if I could ever fly to where this guy lives, I would love to get picked up in his Ferrari with his laptop there and just interview him in the car as we go for a coffee run or something, because it'd be such a wild experience just to be cruising. And then next minute getting told, boy, we need you to walk. And you just pull over on the side of the road in the Ferrari and then just start gaming. It's insane. But here we go. One billion. This is when he officially hit it, you can see. Um, with the, obviously, the lowest amount. And he's obviously still gaining a little bit of power over time when he's trading troops. And you can see even on his other kingdoms, right? He's showcasing here. He plays other games. I personally don't know what this is. This could be Affinity Kingdom. I could be wrong. Um, but rocking so much power even in that game. And then we're going into his Rise of Kingdoms accounts, which, again, I know of. And this is his big boy account. So it's really cool that he's following his trend at being the big Kraken in every single game. Big props to him. You can see even a little bit of fun and hit when 3.9 million to 9.3 million. The deads to our own leader, Jason. This probably be something that he didn't want to remember in the good old DX days. But... It's on his wall, and you know what? It's it's memories, and it's those what mechs call of dragons, right? And, well, if you like your trainers, you definitely need to show him up. There's a bay there's some good ones in there. I'm not a super sneaker enthusiast, right? But I can bet you there's some collector ones in there. Like, you can see some Jordans. We can see those Jordans there, buddy. We can see them there. So yeah, man, nice collection of stuff. And I'm guessing this is art. I personally don't know anything about art, but really cool to see that. And again, nearly 500 likes. People appreciate it, so I like that. <laughs> did you get the frame, Ellen? Yes, I did. At what cost? <laughs> That's a nice little meme to end things on. So you can see, you get a little glimpse of his lifestyle, all of his accounts, and a little bit of humor from him. So there we go. One billion power. For Nefisto in Call of Dragons. I want to hear how much you guys think he has spent in order to achieve that. Because I don't even want to know what he's done to achieve that. But it was honestly a milestone that someone wanted to hit. And he's the first one. So congratulations to being the first ever in history to hit over 1 billion power Nefisto. And obviously all the Noir guys who are there probably having a party with him. Hope you guys have a good day. And if you've enjoyed the video, smash like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next one, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out.